hunting in the damper mating. What is the phenomenon of hunting in the single loss machine? We will see first, then how to suppress this hunting in the single loss machine using the damper mating. That also we will study in this particular session. We know that in the single loss machine, when it is operating under the stable conditions, that is the balance of the input and the output with the losses also. In that case, as such, there is no oscillation in the rotor. Yes, there is no variation in the speed. Suppose if there is sudden increase in the load, or if you are taking off of the load from the single loss machine, there is a variation of the, the load and the delta, thereby which there is a change in the speed of the single loss machine. Then the single loss machine has to settle down to new stable condition. Before settling down to the new stable condition, that is the angle delta is changing to adjust the, the load so that to settle down to a new value of a delta, it is oscillating around the new operating point. This the swinging of the, of the, the angle delta is called as the hunting that is in turn it is affecting the speed of the, the machine. Then the same thing is uh, given here the synchronous machine may be subjected to oscillations in the speed that is change in the speed when it is a any sudden suddenly loaded or it is unloaded. Then the rotor speed changes momentum it is not uh, changing continuously it is changing momentarily because there is change in the the load if there is an increase in the load there is a uh, in to adjust to the new load then the angle delta has to be increased when there is a delta is increasing the speed of the machine is goes into a uh, lower than the, the single speed the rotor speed changes momentarily until the torque angle adjusts itself to the new output requirement whatever there is a new requirement is According to that, the angle delta has to be changed to whenever there is change in the delta and there is a change in the speed. If the load increases, the rotor steps backwards, means the speed is decreasing to and increase the torque angle. To increase the torque, torque angle, the speed of the machine should be fall back. Why? The load reduction causes the rotor to advance to a smaller torque angle position. In the case of if you are taking out of the uh, sum of the load from the alternator, in that case the angle delta is decreasing, in that case the speed will be increased more than the, the synchronous speed. But because of the moment of inertia, because of the moment of inertia, whenever there is change, either it is uh, slipped down to the less than synchronous uh, speed or it is advancing more than the synchronous speed, but because of the, the inertia, the speed is there is the momentarily it is changing continuously and settled down to any value. But because of the moment of inertia, the rotor motion, the final portion slowing down or speeding up more than the required value. Thus, the rotor is subjected to periodic but momentary, momentarily speed changes while the rotor is attempting to adjust to a correct torque angle. Mm -hmm. The every speed of the machine remains the, the constant. That is, whenever there is a change in the load, then angle delta is increasing, thereby the speed is slipping down. Then when the load angle is settled down to a new requirement of a load, but because of the inertia, there is change in the speed which is not settled down to a single speed immediately but it is oscillating around the new the angle delta and finally it is settled down to a single speed. This oscillation is called as the hunting in the, the machine. The same thing is this quick forward and backward motion of the rotor as it revolves at the average constant speed is called as the hunting that is changing the, the angle delta or settling down to new del angle delta thereby there is change in the speed that swinging of the speed to a new operating point is called as the hunting. 
the rotor is said to be hunting for the correct torque angle in respect to the change of load condition. Such oscillation in the speed produces undesirable current and the torque pulsation. That is whenever there is a oscillations or time space, this of uh, the oscillation they are producing undesirable current and the, the torque pulsation. So that we have to suppress this the undesirable current and the, the torque pulsation. Then to counterbalance this the damping, then what we are using is the damper windings in the, the rotor circuit. That is, however, the damper also it is called as a square gauge winding made of uh, made on the, the four faces. The damper's oscillations in the speed. That is, whenever there is a, the the oscillations are take place, there is an induced voltage or the induced current in the, the damper winding. They are producing a such a force is that it is opposing the, the oscillation. Since the damper winding is short circuited in itself, they result in the rotating MMM, which is conjunction with the rotating tube develops the damping torque, thus minimizing the oscillation. That is, whenever there is a change in the speed. Other than the signal of speed, there is a relative speed between the rotating magnetic field and the, the rotor. In that case, there is induced currents in the damper winding. They are producing the, the torque in a such a way that they are opposing the oscillating torque. The damper winding remains ineffective as, the, as long as the speed is constant and the signal of speed. That is quite evident. Under the steady state condition, that is when the machine is operating at a synchronous speed, as if there is no relative speed between the rotating magnetic field as well as the rotor speed, therefore there is no induced voltage or occurrence in the adapter winding. This is the phenomenon of the hunting. Then that can be explained with the help of our power angle diagram. When a synchronous machine is operating at a steady load indicated by the point Q, that is corresponding to P naught and delta naught on the P and delta curve, that is the power angle curve. This is a power angle curve. This is the operating point, that is a Q. That is Q is the operating point at which the, the power is P naught and the corresponding value of the load angle is the delta naught. Now, whenever there is a change in the load on the machine, then there is a change in the angle delta naught to delta delta. That is, certain limited amplitude disturbances are bound to be occur in the machine because of sudden change in the load, sudden change in the field current, and presence of harmonic variation in the load. Because of this disturbance, there is change in the operating point. Because of that, the angle delta will change. As seen from the figure, a change in the rotor angle delta caused by the disturbance. That is, initially, under a stable condition, it is operating at point P Q with the, the power output of P naught and corresponding angle of delta. Now, there is suppose there is change in the load on the machine, then the angle delta naught has to be changed to delta naught plus delta delta, so that it has to fulfill the increase in the load. While increasing the load, the speed of the machine will fall back momentarily. Because of that, there is a swinging up of the, the rotor. That is a change in the speed of the rotor. That is what we are calling is the hunting of the, the machine. As seen from the figure, change in the rotor angle delta caused by disturbance produced by synchronizing a power given by PSY into that is given by P max cos delta that already were derived this which is proportional to delta delta to spring like action. That is whenever there is a change in the, the load angle delta that is bring back to the stable condition by the, the power what we are calling is synchronizing power. That is I told you that the synchronizing power which is helping the machine to remain in synchronism by counterbalancing the the changes in the, the machine input and the output.
that is the capable of the capability of the synchronizing torque or synchronizing the power in the synchronous machine. Therefore, before settling down to a delta naught, that is whenever there is change in the delta, it is not settled only once, but it is swinging. It is swinging. That is what we are calling is that the delta delta is oscillating. It is oscillating and finally it is settled down to the delta naught. This the oscillation can be suppressed by synchronizing power the corresponding this is a synchronizing power that is a p oscillation because of change in the delta there is a change in the p that is what you are calling is it is d delta of p max sine delta that is what i am getting is p max cos delta that is the synchronizing power the synchronizing power once again bring the machine to its stable condition but before coming to a stable condition the delta is changing and there is an oscillation that is the oscillation of the rotor that oscillation of the rotor is called as the hunting of the the synchronous machine the synchronizing torque act on the machine to counter the change in the, the delta thus the delta variations are integral part of the speed variation therefore the solution oscillatory behavior about the operating point p naught and delta is known as the hunting in the, the synchronous machine then this the oscillations or the hunting can be suppressed by the, the damper winding which is placed on the faces of the the rotor okay that is the damper winding the hunting is suppressed by providing a damper winding it is a extra winding which is placed on the basis of the the rotor rotor these are also called as the square gauge winding or a damper grids the damper windings consist of short circuited copper or a branch bars embedded in the basis of the field poles of the synchronous machine there are the copper bars are placed on the the faces of the rotor of the, the synchronous machine. These are the square gauge. It is as in the case of your induction motor, you know that these are the, the rotor conductors are bars and at the end they are short circuited. It, is, it looks like a gauge, therefore it is called as a square gauge a winding. It is called as a square gauge winding. The same type of winding are placed on the faces of the, the rotor circuit, the synchronous machine. Okay. Whenever there is an induced voltage, the current starts going in this gap or winding. Then these are short circuited. Then they are producing this torque that is what you are calling is a synchronizing torque or synchronous synchronizing power so that they are suppressing the, the dampings or oscillations in the synchronous machine. That is, when the machine is operating at exactly synchronous speed, means when the machine is rotating the synchronous speed and rotating magnetic field and the, the rotor speed have got the same speed therefore there is no relative speed between the rotating magnetic field and the uh, sorry uh, rotating magnetic field and the the rotor then there is no induced voltage in the, the damper winding the same thing is explained here when the machine is operating at exactly synchronous speed there is no relative motion between the rotor and air gap plus and so no voltage is induced in this damper winding or square gauge winding. Thus at second speed of the machine no current flows through this additional winding and the operation of the machine is not affected when it is perfectly when it is operating under steady state load condition. But when the speed of the machine deviates from the signal speed if the speed is other than the signal speed their hunting will take place. There is a relative motion between the rotor or a damper winding and air gap flux. There is a relative motion between the, the rotor and the air gap flux. Therefore, the anti currents are set up in the winding in such a way that it is suppressing the, the oscillation. Therefore, the effectiveness of this damper winding is its objective is to suppressing the rotor oscillations. However, the suppressing capacity is depending upon the resistance of this winding. 
the lower the resistance the stronger is the the damping action in the the machine therefore these uh, damper windings they play an important role when there is a oscillation in the the rotor that is suppressed by the by inducing the voltage in the the damper winding thereby they are producing the damping torque which is opposing to the the oscillation so that ultimately the rotor is settled down to new operating point